everyone. Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Um, yeah, we have a bit of a new audio setup today. I know you guys can't really tell. Uh, we're using a wireless lavalier mic setup today. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully everything is going off without a hitch. Uh, we have three stories. Well, two stories really, but there might be a third here I'll bring up because I, I think it's interesting, although I don't really think it matters that much uh, considering many things out there. But uh, yeah, it's a Zelda story, by the way. So we'll, we'll probably end up talking about it because it's Zelda. Uh, before I do that, why don't you guys go ahead and drop a like and comment on this video. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you would subscribe to the channel if you happen to enjoy this. Uh, we do have a new giveaway going on right now. I know it was less than 24 hours ago that we just did Prime Giving. But now we have a new giveaway uh, that, that's going to be running for the next couple of months. Uh, we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, so yeah, three copies of that being given away there is a link down in the description or the pinned comment uh, that you can click on to enter for that it is not going to be a live stream event you do not need to be present to win so this is literally open worldwide anyone can enter uh the bare minimum requirement is that you are subscribed to the channel so thanks for that folks uh and without further ado let's get into today's news So our first story is about the Nintendo Switch and its sales and how much it's dominating in a particular country because the Nintendo Switch just did something it's never done before, breaking its own sales records. So this comes from Christopher Dring on Twitter who is in touch with all the retailers and basically we get the sales for the Black Friday holiday uh, stuff last week. And he said last week was the biggest sales week ever for Nintendo Switch in the UK. Absolute dominant display. The Switch plus Mario Kart 8 plus three month online bundle stole the show over Black Friday. Xbox Series S was in a very distant second place. So there's kind of two notes there. One, the Xbox Series S outsold everything PlayStation 5 was doing. So not even counting Series X sales in, Series S outsold PlayStation 5. That continues a sales trend we know from the US where the Xbox Series S was the lead platform selling last week. But the Nintendo Switch slaughtered the floor with that. Now, there's estimates for the week before uh, the sales week last week, so not last week, but the, but the week before from VG charts, that the Nintendo Switch sold 750,000 units worldwide. Uh, that has nothing to do with the holiday sales period, so insane. Also, the fact that it's that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle, that absolutely blew up. It just proves that a game that's essentially a decade old at this point, <laughs> it, it feels harder and harder for me to imagine us getting Mario Kart 9 this generation. Because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is doing so well, it almost feels like if there is gonna be a Mario Kart 9, Nintendo would absolutely want that to be a launch game for the next platform they have because, hello, look how big of a system seller Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is. I, I don't know that Nintendo has any other game they can release that sells as many systems as Mario Kart. So, yeah. I'm starting to lean towards Mario Kart 9. Ain't happening anytime soon. It's gonna come whenever Nintendo's next platform hits. Or maybe they port Mario Kart 8 Deluxe again. I hope not. I love Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, by the way. To me, it's probably the best Mario Kart of all time. But man, I'm ready for something new, man. I've been playing it for a decade. We just did a tournament, you know, yes, last night. So people are still really loving that game. So yeah. Credit to Nintendo for dominating over there. Obviously, credit to Xbox as well for releasing a platform that people are clearly uh, wanting to buy. And obviously, the Xbox Series S was in stock pretty well all over the world. Our next story deals with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, we already know the sales are phenomenal. Uh, this could easily sell 15 plus million, maybe even approach the Pokemon Sword and Shield numbers at 20 million. We'll have to wait and see, but Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, even though they just sort of had, you know, so-so reviews, are selling like gangbusters. But Whenever things sell well, it makes me want to be fair. And I need to be fair here in some criticism of the releases. 
they're chock full of bugs. Now these aren't the kind of bugs that break the game and delete save data and send you back to the beginning or Cyberpunk 2077 or GTA Trilogy falling through the world map. These aren't the kind of bugs we're talking about. However, there is massive duplication bugs in there allowing you to duplicate your box of Pokemon. It used to just be one Pokemon, then just the Pokemon in your party, and now bugs have been discovered that let you duplicate the entire box. Also, there are so many glitches in the game that let you skip so much of the game that there's actually a speed run out there that has run Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl in 33 minutes flat. Um, now, a super fast speed run is one thing, but it's because of the number of glitches, and it's probably only going to get faster from there. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a sub 10 minute run of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl someday as more and more bugs and glitches are discovered. The reason that I'm bringing up this criticism isn't to discourage you from buying the games or discourage you from having a great time with the games if you already own them because you probably are having a good time, but it's just to note that I'm always critical of like when GTA Trilogy and others out there seem to not be polished and I have to be fair even if it's a Nintendo you know, exclusive release. Yeah, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl doesn't look like it's that polished. I don't know who to blame for that. Do we blame the base developers? Is it Game Freak or the Pokemon Company's fault for not giving them the time to polish it? Were they aware of all these bugs and the duplication glitches? Were they given the funding to have a proper QA testing team? Or did they have all of those resources and they just did a bad job? This is one of those things where we don't know what happened behind the scenes, but the final product is just kind of left in a little bit of a disappointing state. The visuals are subjective. Um, whether or not they did enough you know, in remastering or remaking or bringing you know, Gen 4 back is subjective. But a buggy game with lots of glitches, that's not really a subjective thing. That's, yeah, that probably shouldn't have released in that state. And we're not used to Nintendo Switch exclusives releasing in that kind of state. Um, again, this, uh, these aren't the kind of bugs that are really making the games unenjoyable, uh, but they're definitely bugs that I kind of wish weren't there, especially since a lot of people care about the competitive scene and being able to duplicate Pokemon and all this stuff is gonna really mess with competitiveness. So yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how this goes long haul, uh, but I'm just left a little bit disappointed that this game wasn't polished more before coming out. So I mentioned uh, one final story that I wanted to talk about uh, and I debated on this back and forth because some other YouTubers have made a massive deal out of it. And I'm not so sure that I buy that it's that big of a deal. Uh, and it's something that could have been done a long time ago if anybody bothered to do it. It took two years for some fans to do this and they could have did this decades ago and chose not to. Essentially, what has happened is Ocarina of Time has now been completely rebuilt with custom code in C, a much more popular coding language than the original language the game was written in. Uh, it is not code that Nintendo can touch. It does not use any code from the base game. It does not use any of Nintendo's assets. You can basically link any assets you want to this code base and run an Ocarina of Time style of game. Um, obviously, this is going to open the door to modifications and custom games. And this is really cool for the PC community and especially the modding community and all that. But I look at this as, look, they did this for Mario 64. Uh, they could have done this a long time ago. They haven't, because I don't know that the demand for such a thing is there. Like I kept thinking, why do people care that someone was able to recode and recreate the entire game in a different coding language, other than opening up some modding possibilities out there that if you use Nintendo's assets, you know, like their character models and their world, they're gonna shut down those fan mods anyways. It doesn't matter if you use Nintendo's code, you aren't able to use their assets either. So I don't really know what the point is. Nintendo hates fan mods. They hate fan games. So this opening the door to, you know, being able to make your own Ocarina of Time game. Well, if you can't use the art assets, then you're not really making an Ocarina of Time game. And if you use those art assets, Nintendo's gonna shut it down anyways. So I don't know what the story is here. It's a cool, thing. Maybe it's a fun fan project someone did uh, for a college project for a grade. That's cool. Maybe it's something someone just wanted to do on their own. Fine. I just don't know why it's such a big deal. I know it's been done to Mario 64 and there's been some cool things that have come out of that. But the thing is, anything they were actually dreaming of from these modifications will get shut down anyway. So, <sighs> 
to me, it's just much to do about nothing. Um, I like following the, the modding and hacking community and custom code community, but I don't know. To me, this one really wasn't that big a deal. Some of you guys are going to disagree and go down in the comments and click clack away and tell me how wrong I am, and that's fine. Um, remember, this was already done the Super Mario 64, and out of that, we haven't gotten anything that honestly matters. And I don't think that's we're going to get anything this time either. So it's cool. It's out there. You can use the code that they wrote. Um, or you could just go make your own video game and, and learn how to make something basic in, say, uh, I don't know, Unity Engine? Uh, Unity Engine is actually really easy to work with. Um, I, I'm not, I mean, I, I had a class on it, but I'm telling you right now, you'll learn more from YouTube tutorials than you will from class. Uh, so you could really learn to make your own games in Unity, like right now. I would suggest spending your time doing that versus porting already existing games into a different language. Unless it's just a hobby of yours. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Nintendo Prime today. Um, by the way, we do have a merch sale going on right now. So we just launched our Hype Responsibly line along with some other stuff here. Uh, but if you would like to get your hands on some of this merch, uh, we actually have a 15% discount code that's good until the end of day tomorrow. That code is NPBF2021. It'll save you 15% off your order or essentially the entire profit margin I would usually get. So basically you're getting these items at cost instead of me actually making any money on them. And I'm cool with that because I just wanna help you guys out if you're interested in that stuff. So now's the time if you wanna get that merch. Once we get to December, it pops back up to its normal pricing without the discount. So uh, yeah, make sure you use that discount code MPBF2021 at checkout. Uh, I'm still waiting on some of my merch that I ordered. Um, it's just shipped today so i'm pretty excited I mean, it might be here by the end of the week um see i'll be able to show you guys some of that merch but the thing is it'll be december by then and the discount will be gone so uh thank you guys for tuning in and man i really love what i do here on youtube thank you guys peace out